Foldable phones had a pretty rough 2019. The Galaxy Fold was a bust on launch and pretty much everything else got delayed. But at CES 2020, we're seeing foldable PCs actually have a bit of a moment. We've already seen enough to make us think that maybe 2020 is the year of the foldable PC. I think the most important example is Intel's Horseshoe Bend concept. Now, Intel doesn't sell PCs itself, but it often makes reference designs to try to help define categories, like Ultrabooks or 2-in-1s. This Horseshoe Bend device has a 17-inch foldable OLED display, and Intel says its new Tiger Lake processor lets it be just 7mm thick and still get solid battery life. You can open it out to a full 17-inch display, or fold it like a normal-sized laptop with touchscreen keys on the bottom. It is just a concept, but the fact that Intel is making it at all suggests that it expects its partners to produce similar devices, because that's what this Intel chip is designed for. Major PC companies are also presenting their own concepts. Dell has two, one called the Concept Ori and another called the Concept Duet. Ori means fold in Japanese, so that's the one with a legit folding OLED screen. It's 13 inches, so it's like having a big tablet or a tiny laptop. The Duet, as you might have guessed, just has two separate screens with a hinge in the middle. Dell didn't say anything about specs other than the screen resolution, so don't expect any devices like this to go on sale anytime soon. In terms of actual shipping devices, there's really only one. It's Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Fold. It's similar to Dell's Concept Ori in size and design. It has a 13-inch screen, and it can be folded the same way. There's a magnetic keyboard that clips onto the bottom half of the screen when you fold it, and that also fills in the gap in the hinge when it's closed. The design is pretty nice, with a leather cover that slides along the back when you fold it, and it's not just a concept. Lenovo says it'll actually go on sale in the middle of the year. We even have basic specs. There's an Intel processor, 8GB of RAM, and up to a terabyte of storage. Prices start at $2,499, though, so don't expect devices like this to be affordable for a while. All of these devices might not actually be all that usable either. They're all running regular Windows 10, which just really isn't designed for this kind of screen. The manufacturers have to add customization so you can do things like pin different apps to different areas of the screen, and not everything works in every orientation, and it's all just a little bit awkward. Intel and Lenovo both told me they'd work on Windows 10X devices later, which is Microsoft's upcoming version of Windows aimed at folding and dual screens like the Surface Neo, but there's no word on when that'll actually arrive. Until then, these are going to be super early adopter products. They'll cost a lot and probably be pretty janky. But hey, isn't that what CES is all about? Everything at this show is impractical until it isn't a few years later. And with giants like Intel, Dell, and Lenovo on board, it feels likely that foldable PCs will be commonplace soon enough. But hey, I've been wondering, if you actually had one of these foldable PCs, how would you use it? Which direction would you hold it in? <laughs> I would wear it like a hat. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>